Hey guys, it's Finn and I wanted to take this time to explain to you how to get rid of all the lag, choppy picture, desync audio, live commentary issues you might experience while using Elgato Game Capture HD because I sure did and I have struggled with those problems a lot. When I first started using this software, I often experienced um, some green screen and choppy picture issues and lag in my video footage and when I actually tried to add some live commentary uh, with the Game Capture HD software the live commentary would be in its place for a couple of minutes but after that it's gonna be desynced and out of sync with the uh, video footage eventually and it's gonna just get worse and worse as the video progresses so I wanted to explain to you how I got rid of this prob problem because I know that a lot of people struggle with it while using this software so what I actually did here was I um, reduced my um, quality standard because I tried to record with 1080, 1080p HD like everyone else and that wasn't such a good idea because my computer isn't exact exactly the best computer in the world so um, what I basically did was lowered my stand standards and it solved the problem for me so let's look at my um, HD preferences what I did here was I disabled the flashback recording I think what that does really is um, well Elgato has this great edition where um, you're able to record from your flashback gameplay even even when uh, Elgato isn't recording so it's kind of recording but not recording and that's, that's kind of a burden for the software so I just got rid of it because it was kind of useless to me and that I think so was half the solution for my problem and then in the share uh, section I don't think I did anything else than, than uncheck all these boxes except for this one I don't, I don't know if it did anything but that's what I did and I unchecked this box as well because I found out that the Elgato software actually created two files for every single recording I did and that seemed like such a waste of disk space so I just unchecked this and, and I think that solved the problem and what I did here in the device settings in the capture section this is probably the most important section if you wish to um, improve your quality or actually get rid of all the lag issues because what you need to do here is uh, click the standard box that's what I did and um, I lowered the the quality I used to have it in 1080 but I just lowered it to 720 because on 1080 I always had the green screen issues that the, uh, the screen would turn green every once in a while or every once in a while it would be cut in half in a weird way and there's pixels and lag and everything so I just settled with 720 and lowered the quality to good so it's like <laughs> barely HD uh, according to Elgato and after that it's been the, the video footage has been really really smooth the live commentary has been synced all the time and the quality isn't that bad either I mean it, it's HD and it might as well be well I, I don't know how much how big of a difference it is if I turn this thing to best or to 1080 but I mean it's HD I can easily watch my footage full screen and it's it's really sharp and I really have nothing to complain about so don't do not fear don't be afraid of uh, switching to 720 and good quality because in YouTube people are not going to look look at the freaking pixels they're gonna, gonna look at at your video if it's entertaining or not so uh, yeah <laughs> don't worry about that and then I didn't do much else here put the saturation up but that's really about your own personal preference it doesn't really affect the video footage the, the lag thing I don't think so yeah that's all I did here and um, also with the live commentary thing I no longer record if I record live commentary I no longer use Elgato to do it I mean okay, uh, these days I just um, 
record the gameplay with Elgato and then use Audacity to record my live commentary as I do right now. So it's not gonna be as big of a burden for Elgato, I don't think so. Because Audacity is such a light, light software, it's gonna worry about my commentary. And Elgato can just focus on recording my gameplay, which will be on 720p and 30 frames per second. So that's, that's pretty much all I did. And of course keep every other program shut, which you won't need while recording. And that's going to make your computer focus on the Elgato. And it's gonna be easier for it to <clears throat> make quality videos. And what I did in my PS4 was actually I went to settings and um, uh, sound and screen, I think, video output settings. And I changed the resolution to 720p over here as well. I don't know if you need to do that anymore, but I mean, I just think you might as well. I mean, if you're. If you're recording with 720p, I don't think you benefit anything out of 7, uh, 1080, but then again, I, I think you could also uh, play with 1080 and just record with 720, uh, 720. I'm not sure. I That's what I did, and, it, and now I just recently recorded a 40 minute long gameplay video in 720p. And live a commentary. It the quality was really really good. You could just watch it full screen, and it was smooth, no lag anywhere at all. And the live commentary was synced all the time throughout the entire 40 minute video. So that's what I did. And if you follow my instructions, you should be able to do it as well. And that's about it. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Oh no 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 no. Come on! Right, there we go! <laughs> that was awesome! Defeat Vegeta! And how hard can that be? He's already really fucked up from the looks of it. I, I did it! I cut his tail off! I'm gonna start running right now. Back to normal! Vegeta is never normal. You're absolutely begging to die today, aren't you? He's always yes. fucked up. You got him out of the great ape form. Now, go and defeat Vegeta. Why do you enjoy it? Isn't he like your father or something? There we go, Vegeta. Let's play, shall we? <laughs> but I got power level of million. Whoa! -ho. Everyone is stronger, sure, but it'll be hard to take on Ginyu and Raccoon. Please protect everyone and defeat the enemy. Sure, that's what I do. Underestimate the Prince of All Saiyans. What the Father, hell? He seems so strange. Did his power rise 